this is swamp map and it will be gone in the next patch 1.0 and here's why from the north spawn if you go to the castle you are ripped because there is no chance for you there you need someone to take up charlie 7 and shoot at b0 for the enemy scout tanks that come along that way don't go to the castle because it favors the uh, enemy team they have a shorter distance to travel they can set up there wait for your heavies to come the best place for you to go is to g6 with the heavies from the north go a direct line to the mid and uh, hull down there while the second team heads right over to the east the bad chat takes up the a line and then makes his way to b0 and hopefully later on rushes down uh, to push down the a line I'm making my way to the uh, C6 where I can shoot at the uh, B0 line and as you can see there is already uh, some tank, some light tank or medium tank that have made their way there. It looks like it's going to be a bad chat so I'm going to try and see if I can uh, do some damage before we push down that 8 line. If you take a look at the enemy bad chat position, uh, he's got no place to go except there. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I bounced him. He's got no place to go except uh, up that uh, zero line. And if he does go up that zero line, he's limited to what he can do because there's plenty of people defending that side. As you can see, there's a T-57 there. If there was no one there, then it'll be quite uh, unfortunate for us there. I took a... I made a nice hit from him. I made a bounce as well. So we're gonna wait for him to be finished off and we're gonna creep forward here and uh, see if we can get some uh, damage onto whatever is there. I take a bit of a chance here to cut across because normally there are people sniping from their base on the 8 line, 7, 8 line, so it's quite dangerous for me to cut across but uh, I take my chances here. The worst come to worst, I'll take one hit for it, it's quite worth it. And uh, I'm gonna try and get some damage on this guy, finish him off, and continue my push on. Now, in hindsight, I should have uh, stopped there and got myself unlit before I moved on. But instead, I decided to use the momentum and push forward. And uh, for that, I took a hit from the Super Conqueror, which I could have avoided if I got myself unlit before I moved. Now, I'm in my AMX M454. I just got this tank tier 10. Uh, unfortunately, it comes with the small gun. You need another 65,000 uh, XP to get the big gun, which is why I'm playing it now. Otherwise, I wouldn't even bother playing it. But I want to get the uh, big gun, so uh, I am trying to grind out the XP for it. Uh, the only thing that is good about this small gun is I think it has slightly better reload time, uh, but uh, it only does 400 or 440 damage something like that I'm not too sure but anyway this video isn't about this tank as much as about this map uh, I'm in an ideal position we've basically already won this game even though um, there's still a long way to go but uh, once you've made your way down the 8 line um, there's really not much you not much the southern team can do and uh, this is one of the reasons why this map is being uh, taken out of the uh, world of tanks rotation in 1.0 this map totally favors the northern team of course um, if you don't screw up that is if you're gonna play like this pz uh, pz7 here some einstein he is he's trying to to f face up to the entire team that's at the castle shooting at him so he's lost his HP but even at this point I have no doubt that we're gonna win this game as, as long as I don't throw we should be able to win this game quite easily because you're in a very strong position you have map control uh, the only thing that they can do is push out from the 1-2 line up north but we have defenders at our base at the hill and uh, they should be able to easily slow them down at least and uh, I'm gonna just take my time here not uh, not take any damage while I am uh, chipping at them slowly I do have the advantage here with the PZ7 uh, that is a uh, rack here I can use his rack as a bit of cover because there's gonna be a lot of TDs 
uh, hiding behind the castle that's going to take pot shots at me. Every time I get lit, they're going to try and shoot at me. So uh, it's it's useful this uh, this uh, VK7. Sorry, that is a wreck here. I can use him to absorb some damage. So now it's just a matter of uh, wearing them down. Uh, we've got some guys in the middle that are going to keep uh, that Super Conqueror lit. And I will be able to uh, take some pot shots and uh, wear them down slowly. Now every time I'm lit, I'm going to pull back. Because I'm not going to risk uh, taking any hit from those guys at the castle. There's uh, no reason for me to lose uh, any HP for this. There you go, I take a shot, kill that guy. Now I pull back, make sure I'm unlit uh, before I go out and uh, take another shot. Uh, I'll try to sh shoot at that uh, Super Conqueror if I can. At least try to wear him down slightly. There's no point in me pushing up towards him right now because uh, there's a bunch of guys at the castle that's going to... Uh, I'll basically get melted down if I push forward there. And uh, the game doesn't need to be as close at, uh, as it is. We should be able to win this easily as long as I don't throw the game. Now you can see they've made a push down the uh, K line. And which is the right thing to do. They either ha need, they have to push uh, either flank, either the 1-2 line or down the JK line. That's the, that's the only two options that the enemy team has and that's the right thing to do is to push out on these both flanks either or or both now i've i've seen that guy do that which is why i'm trying to get down here to uh, try and stop him from coming around this side so i need to defend this side in case he um, pushes over this hump i can uh, finish him off but uh, I see there's a problem here that Super Conqueror is going to spot me there, which is why I completely I have to abandon my mission now, because if I try to make it across uh, across their base and to the JK line, I'm gonna get myself uh, sniped all the way by that Super Conqueror, and I don't need to lose any more HP uh, if we're gonna win this game. As you can see, we are only up by uh, two, tank uh, two tanks, so I can't uh, take too much of a risk. Now, as soon as I was gone, that Super Conqueror did the right thing. He pushed forward, but uh, I've made my way back, and hopefully I, I'll be able to catch him out uh, either here or in the uh, next window. I know he's moved, but I don't know how far he's moved. There he is. I catch him. And I tried to track him, I think I tracked him, but uh, either he's repaired or I missed his wheel. But either way, I bounced, uh, my frontal bounced off him, uh, which is quite fortunate. And uh, that gave the opportunity to the guys in the middle to push up forward in towards their base and shoot that uh, conqueror in the butt. So I'm going to push forward, use a little bit, sacrifice a bit of my HP, I've got plenty of it. And I catch that uh, VK pushing forward to support that uh, Super Conqueror. So what I'm going to do is try to get as much damage as I can off of that VK7. I don't think he's able to pen me because I only showing, I'm only showing my turret. Uh, I missed him, I shot the ground, shot the dirt or something. But anyway, there's the Super Conqueror. I should be able to finish him. Get his lower plate there, he's done. And uh, now we are up by two. This game is almost over, but it is closer than it has to be. Looks like that Centurion AX has made his way back in support of uh, the VK and the uh, Super Conqueror, which is the right move. But um, I have the advantage of HP on the Centurion, so I'm just going to try and shoot the top of his. Uh, turret and uh, that was an easy pen and he's gone and uh, that leaves a 5v3 situation and uh, now I can sacrifice my HP and uh, 
I wouldn't be um, I wouldn't be risking my uh, tank completely because I have a lot of HP to play with so now I've got three shots on this uh, VK is that a VK? no it's a Yak Panzer isn't it? and I will take those three shots while he cannot spot me and uh, close that uh, distance on him while I'm taking my shots I am still uh, I should be unspotted by him because I am uh, he is right at my uh, view range spotting range and him being a TD he should have he should have a less uh, spotting view range than I do which means he probably can't see me so I'm gonna take another blind shot here just in case he's there he's still there tracked or something and maybe one more for good measure and then I'll move forward and see if I can uh, spot him again it uh, looks like I did do, so do a bit of damage with my uh, blind shot there and that's GG well done not a fantastic game, but over 5,000 damage done, including those uh, blind shots. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this game, and uh, I wonder if you're going to miss this map as much as I will miss this map. See ya.